guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna be checking out the doom tower team that i'm running now so back in the day i used to have like a seer team and it was good but you could get fail runs and things could go wrong now i've built a way way stronger team and i feel like a lot of people well let's i'll show you the team first so it looks like a very very whale team but hear me out guys so we've got Wukong, a free login champion that everyone should have had. Um, Armands, a fusion, like a god tier fusion. No one should have passed up Armands. Okay, Duchess, I was very, very lucky to get her. Um, but she could be filled by like Pytheon, um, even Rector Draft. I reckon Rector Draft could fill Duchess's um, shoes. But yeah, very, very flexible there. Uh, Harima, obviously like a god tier Nuka. However, she's more in for sort of control and damage. So she's sort of filling two roles. But again, I feel like a lot of Nukas could fill that Harima spot. And then Lydia is someone that, you know, we can all get from Faction Wars. So a pretty accessible team. So we're on floor 119. 44 turns. That is not bad. Uh, 118, 67. 117, 53. 116, 42 turns. So it's a very, very first team. Oh, sorry, a very fast team. Full auto. Uh, no setup required. If we just come down to the setup, literally, they can do what they want and they will get the job done. So we might as well just do the hardest floor while we're here. Floor 119, making it easy. And this team works on every single rotation, no failed runs, and every single floor. What more could you want? So, here we're going to go. So, Armand's pushing everyone's time at your back. Throwing out the stuns. Lydia coming in with that drop defense and weaken. Wukong just slamming. Literally almost dropped the entire team. Uh, Harima just helping to sort of chip away and get the job done. And it's kind of good as well because you don't really want to kill everyone off so quickly that way you can sort of cycle back around for your abilities so just a little bit of crowd control coming in right now i was expecting rotus to just sort of drop the team i mean he does hit like a truck and these waves as well like obviously they are bumped up they're not your standard heroes throwing out the sheep with armands i do feel like he is the, he's the main reason this team works. Just been an absolute beast. Pushing back turn meter, throwing out stuns from Armands. But yeah, he. I think people just, when they think of Armands, they just think of Arena. But he's so much more than that. And he can really be great for people that are struggling with progression and can be used for so much content. And there we go. Wukong popping off, dropping those waves. Do need Duchess to sort of, that's it, get the revive on uh, Harima, bring her back to life. Looks like this is going to be a little bit of a slower run, but we should be still good. I'd like, um, Rio can be a problem here. When I used to run my Seer team, she used to basically uh, sort of cleanse and throw everything back. She is a real issue, but our man's hopefully, he's either going to throw back, you know, push back that turn meter, or he's going to. I hope he sheeps her. That's really what we want. Yep, there we go. The sheep, the remove buffs. Absolute beast. Okay, just need... Okay, there we go. I'm going to push that out that turn me out, throw out the stuns. So this is like three, two, three turns of doing whatever we want. And, you know, by the time that's back around as well, he'll have his... Um, you know, it'll be back off cooldown again. And, okay, so we're going to two and a half minutes now. Just need, there we go. Just need Wukong to pop off. And there we go. I mean, that was such a quick run. Wukong, 1.7 million damage. Harima, not doing that much, actually. Only 277. But again, she's more in here for control. And Harima's a champion that it takes time for her to build up. 
that damage. Armor hands, though, almost doing as much damage as Arima. Crazy. I guess she was dead for a lot of the fight as well. Um, but Duchess, obviously, great. Just protection. You know, everyone's just going to focus her. She's doing healing. She's doing revives. And Lydia, just literally there for that drop defense and weaken. Not, not many champions do it better than Lydia. So let's check out the builds, guys. And my favorite button is the recently used first. So we don't have to dig through all my champions to find them. So Wukong. My Wukong is in a pretty terrible build, to be honest. They got him in lethal and a broken set. Um, gloves, of course, crit damage. Um, attack percentage on the chest piece. And speed, no, attack percentage on the boots as well. Um, but you can see, like, we definitely need to work on these ascensions. I've just run out of uh, dust to sort of uh, sort that out. We've got um, attack on the ring. Pretty bad ring, to be honest. I'm sure I've probably got an upgrade right now. Amulet, crit damage. Again, um, you know, while we're here, let's max that out. And we've got some uh, chaos power as well, so we might as well rework it till we get that crit damage as well. It does make a big difference getting that little bit of extra crit damage. The gloves, though... I need to be fair. I need to focus on Hydra more than anything else. So, I'm gonna save this uh, dust for now. But yeah, crit damage on there. Attack on the banner. A nice double roll in speed. Shame, I don't have a better banner. It's probably on Liora's. To be fair, who is a way way better champion than Wukong. Wukong is good, but Liora's is way way better. So the good thing about Wukong is he does not need to be super fast. Um, I'm sure there's people that like probably have him at like 250 speed. He doesn't need to be that fast. The main reason for that is, is that if he dies, he revives with like almost like, is it 90% turn meter? He does not need to be that fast. It doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, if you can get him faster, that's good. Um, so we've got 52k HP, 6.8k attack, 218 speed. Um, I'd say a good starting point would be 200 for like an earlier account. And then if you're like sort of end game, you do want to try and push that 250. It does make him a little bit better. 100% crit rate, 310 uh, crit damage. And again, with the gloves, is it is it 20%? I can't remember. Um, oh, Let's come out. I just need to check on another hero. Liores, what are his gloves? Nope. Okay, who has crit rate? Crit is twenty percent. Twenty percent on the on the gloves. So yeah, so we're missing twenty percent crit damage. So that would make a big difference. Um, and then no resistance and no accuracy. It's difficult because I feel that if you put too much accuracy on him, if you're in arena, you could trigger that sheep, and you don't want that to happen. You know, you want to kill people and just do insane true damage. But again, it's nice to have that strip as well. So you can go for a hybrid build, but I've gone for pure pure Nuki Kong. Um, Soul Reap, it's the only way to go for Wukong. I really can't think of anything else. For a Nuke Kong, there's nothing else I'd rather have. Uh, we've gone for Arena Masteries. So taking damage, splitting off into Ruthless Ambush, and we're taking Cycle of Violence as well, just to help us cycle through our abilities faster. Going into Helm Smasher for that um, extra ignore defense. And then in the defense tree, we don't care if Wukong dies. We want those counterattacks popping off with Deterrence and Retribution. So Harima. Again, Harima. Like, it's so hard to get good Savage gear and lethal gear on your account. Um, everyone in my clan rips me for my Harima build. But it's hard. It's hard to get gear. So, um, very, very nice gloves. Again, we've got Savage and a Broken set. Really, really nice gloves. Need to try and change that to crit damage, though. Uh, defense on the chest. Again, terrible roll on the chest piece. Uh, speed on, well, defense. And then, actually, it's nice to have that speed. She does, Harima is a champion that does need to be fast. So, nice to have a little bit of speed on the Ascension there. Defense on the ring with a nice triple roll. And then we've got crit damage on the amulet. And again, some defense, some resistance, and a little bit of accuracy as well. Uh, defense on the banner. 
nice double rolling speed and then um yeah definitely need to send that though and then we've got um, a nice single roll in defense as well so we've got 40k hp 7k defense um, but definitely could bump that up if we just uh work on some of our ascension 217 speed again same as wukong so you want to start at 200 and then work your way up to 250 um but yeah harima does need to be reasonably fast because the more attack she does the stronger she becomes and the more damage she'll do uh crit capped 300 uh crit damage um 267 resistance and 240 accuracy again i feel like there's nothing really for arena and for like hydra and stuff i feel like soul reap's the best option if you're purely using her for hydra then you probably want to take um it is cruelty no crushing rend crushing rend would probably be your best option or what is the other one uh heaven heaven cast if you're bringing a lot of buffs then heaven cast is going to be a great option and mastery is again pretty much the same as wukong uh taking um going for arena build splitting off into ruthless ambush coming down to stoke fury so um if we've got any debuffs on us it's gonna bump up our damage and we're taking opportunists as well so if there's any stuns or any cc out there it's gonna help increase our damage by 12 percent defense we're going to improve parry one of my favorite um masteries decreases critical hits that we take by eight percent uh, wisdom about as well this can be a real game changer uh, can really change the tides in a fight so if we do have um any form of cc on us when it comes off we've got a 30 percent chance of placing block debuffs on ourselves. um stubborn doesn't really matter it's just basically trying to get to that retribution and retribution you know crazy good on harima anytime we get in a counter attack we're going to be doing some damage armands so Armands, we've gone for full stone skin. Full stone skin is definitely my favorite build for him. Um, it's going to protect us from Tormins and Hedges for the arena. Also great for Doom Tower as well. So if there's any sort of wave control, it's not going to cause us any problems. So for the gloves, we've got crit rate. And it's not really about the primary uh, substat, uh, primary stat. It's more about the substats. So we're getting speed, we're getting some accuracy, um, and that's more important than what this is. However, I do like having crit rate on him because he does do a decent amount of damage, as you saw in Doom Tower, and he has, um, you know, I've had I've had my Armand solo. He's you know, had like one v three, and he's won one v threes because he's doing that little bit of damage. Of course, accuracy on the chest piece. We want him as much accuracy as possible. For the arena and also for that wave control again subs in speed speed on the boots with speed on the ascension and again accuracy on there uh, hp on the on the ring with a nice double roll in percentage on the defense then we've got a hp amulet to be fair it doesn't really matter we just want as many uh rolls in accuracy as possible um a terrible banner just my barbarians are really unlucky when it comes to accuracy banners this is like my second best banner on the account so cleanser sucks would you know you want at least two or three triple rolls in uh speed but it is what it is at the end of the day you can only work with what you've got 61k hp 3.3k defense 298 speed that is plenty uh for the arena my armands you know um at the moment i'm like gold two for tag i could probably push into gold three if i really wanted to even against all those mythicals like people are like just have a little bit of a side rant people are just spending on the mythicals right now like literally almost every fire having tag is just mythicals but anyway that he's good enough for that that is more than enough for you to compete even if you're even in like um live arena as well that will get the job in you'll definitely cut in and start sheep in and and getting people dropped uh crit capped 119 um crit damage 361 resistance that's quite nice didn't, didn't realize it was that high um but it's nice to have a little bit of uh, resistance on him as well just to protect his stone skin as well and when it does come off as well 
we have a good chance to be protected. 648 uh, accuracy, that is more than enough for Arena. Um, you know, you don't need, really for Arena, we just need to control, you know, the nukers and the debuffers. Their supports, if they've got a decent amount of resistance, it's probably going to be like around the 800 mark. And that's going to be really, really hard to get that amount of accuracy to sort of be able to control it. Of course, we've got five star blessing. We're taking Polymorph. Would love to have him at that six <laughs> um, six star to get that 20% chance. Uh, and irresistible as well. Irresistible sheep would be crazy good. But um, yeah, I just feel like Polymorph is just the best option. It's not just going to help you in the arena. Again, it will help with waves. Any waves that they throw out debuffs, we have a very good chance of sheeping them. And just bringing in just another layer of control. So Masteries, actually we've made a mistake here. We should have taken Fearsome Presence. That would um, just help increase our sheep. Um, but I did take Eagle Eye, which is, is, is a good option. It's nice to have that accuracy. But really, Fearsome Presence, that would bump up my sheep from 15 to 20%. And if I had it 6 off from 20% to 25, which is like 1 in 4. That is a real game changer. Big mistake. So defense tree, um, we are taking Defiant. Improved parry for survivability. Rejuvenation just to shields and healing. Again, taking that wisdom battle. Uh, Harvest of despair because we do throw out stuns so we can throw out a leech. And then we just want counter attacks because his A1 will put skills on uh, cooldown. Support tree, we are taking accuracy, some more accuracy. Um, should have maybe taken Exalt and Death, then we could split here. Um, or does he, does he, no, does he throw out buffs? He does not throw out buffs. So actually, no, it's not needed. So yeah, we definitely, that's definitely the right way to go. Uh, Arcane Celerity is great on him. So when debuffs come off, that is going to bump up our turn meter and get us to cut in as well. Uh, Circle of Magic as well is great. Law of Steel as well. And then Master Hexer. Um, don't need it. It's just to help us get into that Eagle Eye. But again, like I said, probably should have actually taken Fearsome Present instead. I will, I'm definitely after the end of the video, I will uh, reset the skills. Duchess. Um, yeah. In Stone Skin and a Broken Set. Could little, be a little bit cheeky. Um... I just had this god tier piece here and because i had this five star stone skin accessory it means that i could sort of get away with just getting this extra speed so hp on our gloves hp on the chest piece uh, speed on the boots with more hp and with duchess you just want as much speed hp defense and resistance as possible um then we've got defense on the ring with roles in defense and HP. And it's also a rea uh, reaction piece. Also, that is a crazy good ring. Uh, this is okay. It's literally just in there. So like we could get this god tier chess piece with a triple roll. Uh, HP on the banner. Um, nice double roll in speed. Total stats 105k HP. 4k defense, 263 speed, 478 resistance. So there's a few different ways you could go. Again, you kind of need your resistance to be around 800-ish, like at the top level ends of Arena. And to do that, you know, she would need to be fully awakened. She would need, uh, I don't think my Faction Guardians is fully maxed for, uh, for Demon Spawn. And also we'd need like, a, you know, like, resistance on the chess piece and the banner as well so we're sacrificing quite a lot uh we'd need like loads of rolls in resistance on the um on the necklace as well so it's, it's hard it's hard to do so we've gone for emergency heal i really like this for pve content and because we've only got two star blessing it's kind of worthless um obviously polymorph is still the best if you can get that six star uh, other good options, Live Harvest is great for the arena. Um, what else would I recommend? Probably probably those ones. Those would be the best options for the Duchess. Um, so we've gone Defense Tree, Taking Improved Parry, Essential for Duchess. Um, 
cycle of revenge well so to take a big hit it means that we can cycle our turn meter faster retribution is great because of her a1 she's constantly throwing out shields so she's the last woman standing it means that she can keep herself alive every time just throwing out all those um shields and unshakable getting that extra resistance um support tree getting more hp uh, increasing the value of our shield again pairs up so nicely with her a1 rapid response because she does throw out an insane amount of buffs so that's going to really help boost our uh, boost our turn meter law of steel taking healing savior just to again help with the shield help with our healing as well uh, again shield and healing and lasting gifts because she throws out a crazy amount of buffs if we can ever increase our buffs we need to so that is duchess in a nutshell and last but not least is lydia the death siren and this is a very old school build um definitely loads of different ways you can build her now i'd probably recommend taking hex just for hydra really helps uh improve her damage but um yes yeah, so we've gone for speed and perception we're looking for um sort of roles in speed accuracy and resistance so she's a bit of a hybrid build um so gloves we've got hp got resistance on the chest piece speed on the boots hp on the ring hp on the amulet and then accuracy on the banner 64k hp on the 64k hp full stop uh 3.2k defense 272 speed so really really fast um 436 resistance and then 422 accuracy so for pve content and pve she should have no problems landing her um her debuffs however like with the resistance it's kind of good it does mean that for like most pve content she should be able to resist and for rena you know it means that the enemy have to have around 400 accuracy at least so it's a pretty solid build um and then for the blessing what would i take what would i take on on lydia i really don't know i guess because you'd probably be using her for pve now these days she's not as good she's definitely fallen off for pvp it would have to be cruelty um just help doing damage on on hydra on waves definitely definitely way to go so masteries again she's got a bit of a funky old school build and uh, we've gone support tree um into um sniper just a better chance of landing some of our debuffs then we're taking resistance we're taking blast proof we're taking rejuvenation Again, we want to try and land those counter attacks, and then we're taking unshakable again for that extra resistance. Um, it's still a solid build, but um, yeah, if you're nowadays, you probably want to go for offense tree, anything just to help increase your damage for Hydra. Um, and again, going for Hex would would not be a bad shout on her because she does have AOE on her A2, um, and it's a three ten cooldown as well, so she does cycle pretty quickly. Um, or you could go for reflex as well another great option but that is pretty much the end of the video guys i hope this helps you give you some ideas on how to build a team to get through doom tower ideally you know armands is pretty much the core of this team and there's some strong nukes around him a reviver and um, lydia but it, there's so many champions here that you know can be replaced or you should just have because they're easy to come by but yeah thank you for watching guys please leave me a cheeky thumbs up Make sure you smash that smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.